Psalms, Psalms chapter 86, verse 5. For thou, O Yahweh, by our shot, are good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Makakwadash. To what you watch, Yahweh Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom on to the Aki, I'm pushing the word of sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the all party, chip was the mark of the peace. 200 million messages in the slaves of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lift the whole full up into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shoot and blaze against the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I brought this out of the Lord to the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom, Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs that I've taken apart. And, um, I woke up thinking about this word. Right now, the time is 4.24 a.m. in the morning. And Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, the whole full year of Jacob's trouble. And... This word jumped in my mind. And as you can see, the meaning is there. Long suffering. Long suffering. Having or showing patience in spite of trouble. Especially those caused by other people. And right now. Okay. It's a lot here. Let's find this chapter. Because I just read this verse just off the fly. Okay, um, so I started looking up word verses for long suffering. I wanted to go into Yahweh Yahushua's long suffering, you know, and um, and we we have long suffering too. We're patiently waiting for these things. Like you see, like it has um similar words on the bottom. You got patience and forbearing. Okay, so I'm just going to just just see. Forbury. Um, hold on, let's open up another tab. Forbearing mean. Let's see, so you won't say it. Forbearing. Yeah. Forbearing mean. Forbearing mean. It's a lot here. Let me get forward here. Where is that? Yeah. All right. Oh, really? I lost internet service. That's a lot here. Come on, man. Right now, when I'm trying to do something, that's why. Such a lovely situation. <laughs> there you go. Forbearing. Yeah. Of a person, patience and restraint. So, call me Ashaba. Yahweh Shemel Shaba Shakodash. He has had patience and restraint from jacking us up, man. So, we are in a. We are in the grace period. And. And he he definitely has tolerated us. And, I, you know, um, just going in the spirit. And I, I'm truly grateful, you know, that he gave us this opportunity that he even that, that we are even his people, man, because we are when we doing, you know, when Jake is out there on the, doing shit wickedly, we beyond wicked. Right, beyond wicked. These mo these two thirds is beyond wicked right now. Like from the lower scale to the higher scale, they are out there doing shit right now, at this moment, four twenty seven a.m. in the morning. Something crazy is happening, and it and it's their lot. 
And we got to be happy that we was called into this life. This marvelous light, bro. You know? And um, we see the outcome of this situation. We see when you fall off what happens. You know? And, I mean, it spews out, like, I mean, all the truth just spews out the backside. And every other thing come out the mouth. It's like, it's just like, it's a chain reaction. And this shit is terrifying, bro. Like the girl, the, um, the individual that was from Boston. You know, um, I've seen this guy before. You know, I watched a couple of his videos, you know, when he was out in the highways. Because, you know, shout out to the brothers in Boston. I met the head brothers out there before. I was on the battlefield. I stood side by side with them when they came out to the New York camp, which was very, which was very inspirational to me. You know, it inspired me. To say, damn, I, I say, I, I say, damn, like, oh, you got me right here. You know, with, with men I watched, I didn't meet. I wasn't. I saw them on YouTube, and then when I met them in person, it was the the, 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 the um, spirit of my shout shot was in, more enhanced. You know, and and we got people out here spying on our liberty, you know, you know, spy our liberty, see what's going on and what's this, that and other. And then when they find out that we just regular men with stink ass jobs and we got to pay our stink ass bills, then what do they do now? What do they have to look for, to look for now? What is that verse? I just want to see that verse. Just I quoted it. All right. I think go spy out our liberties. Spy out our liberties Bible verse. Oh come on, really? This thing started that crazy. And that's what I think that would happen, man. Like Alright, it says Galatians chapter two verse four. And that because of false benjamin, unaware brought in, who came in previously to spy out our liberty, which we have in Hamashiach Yahusha, that they might bring us into bondage. And that's what that's that's these are the cases, man. These are the ongoing cases that be happening. Which is, which is, when I'm looking at this, man, we got to suffer this thing, you know? And I'm thinking about Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah suffering this up there looking at it like, what the, really? <laughs> Even though they know already, but it's just the point. When we find out, when these, when we see these things, we're like, really? You? You just sitting down eating chicken with us. Drinking yah yah. And this decision you made? So it's it's more about us um um forbearing this and because y'all watch me shot know that they know who's who and who what's what. But it's just the point. Can you imagine their long suffering? They have to wait to see us get it, to see this. We 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 we're living it out. They already Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, they already um it's already um it's already done. What we about to experience is already done to them. But I was just thinking, like, I'm waking up. Now it's, it's rolling out the spirit. And I'm like, I'm thinking, like, man, really? You? <laughs> oh, boy. Like, it just happens. Like, like it didn't, it's, it, then it's like, all right, who's next? You know? Like, like come on, man. Like, <clears throat> you shouldn't. This is why it's important that we, um, we stay fast in this. We stay rooted in this. What we what we um um what we was taught. Alright. So let's see what else. And I, I'm just I'm a um I'm, I'm appalled. <laughs> I mean I mean be like hey man, me personally, I'm just speaking as a man right now at this moment, right? Hey man. That's just why I stay um I stay Charities have covered the multitude of sin, you know, and um, I, I just say, all right, I just keep on helping the brotherhood. 
Cause I'm just I, I just want to be meek as possible, man. Cause I am so flattered and um um appreciative of this truth, man. That the things I have seen on my walk to perfection, I can't explain it, but it happened. All the things up to everything I, I went through when I was a little boy, the apostles explained it. When I was looking for why this was happening, and then when I read it. And it enhanced it. So it became a faith booster. A faith boost, faith booster. So I've been boosted. My faith has been boosted up, man. And and the only last witness I have right now that, that live with me is my little one. You know? And I tell her every day, man. You got to stay prayed up for these names, man. This is what's getting us out of these situations, man. Yeah, how about Shah? All right? But I just saw a verse, and I hope I can find it. I just saw another verse. I don't know what. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. Oh, I just saw a verse. It was in the Exodus. Oh, man. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I just saw a verse. I don't know where else at. Let me see. Maybe over here. Oh man, I just saw a verse. Oh, so I get mad. I just saw a verse, and like I said, um, <clears throat> you know, um. I'm just looking at this, like, it's a great movie. This is so great, man. It's just a, such a romantic movie. I don't know what else to think about it, man. I just be like, I, and then I'm, I'm walking, I'm going back, you know, I'm walking back, if I'm at work, it's just, this is, these are the things I think about, man. Like, damn, man, like, who would I want to turn against this? And, and it, it looks so, the world looks tacky now. What do you got to go back to, man? What can you wither away back to, man, in this world, bro? This world looks so tacky now. Learn after you learn this truth, this world becomes tacky, man. All right, what does the word tacky mean? <laughs> I'm just I'm looking at this as damn man, really? You? Who what the fuck wrong with y'all? Tacky mean. So I get I'm just thinking. Thinking out loud, man. Definition of tacky. I gotta see this one. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I use the word for, but it just sounds like something. The definition of tacky. Here's the definition of tacky of glue, paint, or other substances retaining a slightly sticky feel, not fully dry. Okay, something sticky. You're real tacky. A real, a real mess. <laughs> so, like, oh man, sticky situation. All right, we can put that word. Wet, a wet. This a terrible. Just a soggy situation, man. All right, a gooey situation, gummy situation. This is a, this is real. This world is real gooey and gummy. Who the fuck want to get stuck here? Seriously, man. All right, there we go. Who want to get stuck in this tacky situation? Right? Ain't fully dry. What the fuck, man? Either you hot or you, you dry or you wet, nigga. I don't, I don't want to be in this mess, man. I don't want to get stuck here, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, what the fuck, man? You can't be serious, bro. Like... You know, being in the streets. What, what I got to go back to go to? What I got... What, I, 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 I've seen the gloriousness of this, man. This marvelous thing that we was brought, we introduced to. Okay. We've been taught how to navigate in the valley, uh, in the valley shadow. We still got to wait here, bro. You know what it's like to know something like this and still have to wait? You're crazy, man. Like, what are you, what are you going to? Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> where are you going, man? Like, I'm over here still trying to like fight my damn self and I gotta worry about the shit you trying to tell me. Oh man, I gotta stop talking right now. I know. 
Oh, boy. The Lord is so, um, I'm telling you, bro, there's, there's something that he's not going to do, man. Look, look, I'm just going to read some verses. I just, I, I was thinking about the verses. It's just, it's just, a, it's amazing, man. This thing is amazing, man. I, I'm not going to try to be, um, figuring out your madness because you're insane, man. Your people, it's like more every year, somebody you didn't, you wouldn't expect. This is a, this is a, this is a, this is a movie, baby. It's always somebody you wouldn't expect. What to you? What to you? I don't know. I, I don't. I'm off the loop on a lot of things, man. Like I just, I'm trying to fix myself. I'm, I'm trying to do what I gotta do to do for, for the ministry of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. You know, be a good minister. You know, try to work out my own salvation with fear and tremble. Just quoting verses. You know, and um, and I'm just looking at this, man. When you're looking at this from the outside in, and you see this, you can see it. And then in real time, this is happening in real time, bro. For us, this is real time. This movie, this movie being played out. You start seeing things, man. What is you got to do, man? All right, it's locked. Numbers chapter 14, verse 18. The Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shah is long suffering and great in mercy, forgiving the iniquities of the transgression, transgression, transgression by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. And, and this is a generational thing. So what you think you, whatever you did last generation ago to Yahweh Shemesh Shah, he's going to get you in this one. Because it's the last round, this is the last go around we're going to go through. And this is the time you want to um, put your put your um, cross down? This is the last, this is the moment you want to stop doing what you're doing, man. I don't know. I'm inspiring myself right now. I say, I'm looking, I said to myself, you crazy boy. You see what you about to show what you experience. Do you see the things? You you were you on your travels back and forth? Do you, do you can you even explain certain things? Then when you talk to people, these regular people that's in the world, they look at you like you're crazy, man. Only you have Hashem and the and the Akim can understand this. What you're going to because it's not a strange thing. And then when you see things like this happen occur, like we see an individual fall out, it's not looking strange no more. It's just a matter of time. You know, like Apostle Ball say, you're going to be that day. You're going to be, I was, I was just, I had a, I was looking at the guy that wear the hat that's in Sakari. He looks weird to me. Like they look, they look, they starting to look weird. I don't know how much money they got or what they got because I ain't got no goddamn money. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, how what's going on, how about the scene, but your how about Shemel Shah is going to reveal you. He's not going to quit the wicked. Salaka, he's not going to quit the wicked, bro. He's not going to get away with the crime, man. It's a crime. You committed treason, man. Because you, you're, you're blaming something on the ministry of righteousness, man. You can't be too righteous. Then that's unbalanced. And Yahweh Shem is a just balance. Okay? He's a just balance. Let's get that verse real quick. Let me find that one. Just balance. Alright. Yeah, this world, I'm unbalanced in this world. You know what I mean? The only thing I can be balanced with is this truth. If I be waving to one side, or, you know, that's why it's good to be, you know, it is a balanced thing. You know, you gotta go to work, maintain your bills, and do the work of Yahweh Shem Shah. That's balance. In a, in a man of Yahweh Shem El Shah. Just balance. Bible verse. According to BibleRef.com, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 11. ESVA just balance and scales are the Lord's. All the weights in the bag are his work. Yeah, that's some. Um, right. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 11. A just balance, a just weight and balance are the loyal Yahweh Shah. All the weight of the bags are his work. So everything in that bag is his. It's everything works in his way. You know, so you, you're not getting away with nothing. You know? Yeah, 
And um, it's just a matter of time, man. Whatever we do behind the scene, he he knows. And you just you just it just look it's a it's amazing, man. And I'm still I'm still in the learning process. That's why I know that um we are we are um we are um becoming perfect because we're not perfect yet, man. But this is not the time to to stop the grinding for y'all by Shmuel Shah. You gotta go do what you gotta do. Go to go to work. But if you um, waver from this, man, you're gonna find yourself out there in outer darkness. You know, and Yahweh Shah is not gonna protect you. He's gonna let us. He's gonna let us get his hands on you. And you know, Ash Ash will hate your ass. He'll hate your brown ass. <laughs> I don't know, I'm all here with Joshua, but the motherfuckers hate the brown, boy. They be all red and shit. They, be, they walk past you, they turn redder. I'm telling you, they can't hide it. That's that's the, that's the what it's about, man. Like, being able to see they, how they think about you through their complexion. You know? Especially them fat Joshua women. Ooh, good Lord, they just terrible looking. They know they ain't getting nothing. Whoever's hitting that, get out of here. Nasty. So, it's a lot here, man. I'm all over the place, man. Psalms, what's that? Um, I think I can read this one. Right here. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Man, we are we on a we on a break of um being freed up, man. We about to be free, man. We about to be free from the Esau. And these motherfuckers are just crazy. You think somebody gonna go hang out with y'all back in this damn world? Sorry, buddy. All right, um, yeah. So <clears throat> we we waiting we waiting for y'all by Shmuel shot. I just saw that verse too. This is so many words I saw it. I was just before I turned the camera on. It's a lot here, man. It's like it's all resonating in my mind, coming back around. And um just speaking out of the spirit and just just thinking about this, man. Like I'm just looking at this, man. This this story is so great. This is a, such a romantic story. And Lord, I truly believe Yahweh Shemel Shah, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, he has provided for me certain things that I needed, not the things I want. Because I truly believe that um that I could have, you know, I could have been something in this world, right? But I, the Lord said, do you want that? Or do you want what I'm offering? I seen it like that. Because you know why? Because just like what happened to Yahweh Shah, when Satan came to him talking shit, I can offer you this world. That's how the same, that's how we had to all went through that situation. And when you realize you're suffering, when you realize suffering for Yahweh Shemel Shah, those individuals realized the suffering for Yahweh Shemel Shah is not what they wanted. They, they missed out all the years they were doing it. Now what they do, they start talking shit. Man, it ain't nothing back there. And then, and then if you could have got something, you could have been in more or worse trouble, bro. You think people going to have you having money around it? Look at let's just name people that's dead. That people, oh, I like Pop Smoke, right? they like, oh, I like Pop Smoke. But as soon as he shows his his location, motherfuckers went over there and ate him alive. Oh, Young Dolph. Oh, he was a good rapper. Memphis, Menf I don't know where the fuck he was from. And as soon as he, he let his guard down, he went somewhere and got shot up. What's the other one? Um, last time I check, what's that nigga name? I forgot his damn name. I never listened to his music. I never listened. I never heard Young Dolph music. I I'm a, I was I was an MC anyway. I didn't listen to us people. Shit, I was trying to make my own damn money when I was in that shit. So, um, um, what's that guy name? He was over there in L.A. A crip or something. He dead now too. Some other crip or whatever, whoever killed him. Some person, some person he know. So last time he checked, the Lord called him. So, but what we've been doing right now, the Yahweh Shemel Shah has been protecting us. Psalm to the 86, verse 5. For thou, O Lord, art good and ready to forgive 
and plenty in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. See, we called upon you. Yes. He, has, he has protected us, bro. All right. For the Psalm chapter 103, verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenty in mercy. Plenteous in mercy. And you want that mercy, man. This is mercy, bro. What we doing, we've been protected, bro. When you leave this, man, what do you gonna have to protect you, man? I'm not talk I'm not gonna be arguing with you on this, man. I'm telling you what you got. Show me what you got, man. I was always telling my wife, tell my ex-wife that. What show me bring show me something. What you got compared to what I'm doing? And all she do is sit there and be quiet. <laughs> Cause she ain't had shit. People in this world that you've dealt with, they're not in your life now, they didn't want you to be when you was with them. They didn't want they them demons that was on them was look they, they was working to try to stop you from getting this truth. And now when you finally got this truth and you manifest within this truth, right? The understanding and you got the wisdom and then boom. Cause you're gonna slip and fall, man. But you gotta realize that you gotta get up and you gotta do the will y'all watch me shot. It's not your will, bro. You can't come here thinking you got your own thing, man. I, I'd rather, I'd rather listen before I talk, man. You know? And have something mindful to say, man. When you come in the presence of the Lord house, watch your feet, man. Because he's watching, man. He's just waiting, patient. He might just tell the angels, hey, yo, go make him trip and fall. And break something. Slow his ass down. Because it's like that right now. So I had a verse, but I just wanted to read that one. I don't know. I just so I had opened up so many tabs. And I wish I could be like a open up a whole bunch and remember all this stuff, man. Like you see what happened? Being in this world mess you up, mess you up, man. You all jacked up. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. In whom we have re redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin, according to the riches of his grace, man. And you about you just about to you about to get cut short, man. The reason why we oh the other verse, man. Faith and grace. What was it faith and grace? Mercy and grace? Something like that. I saw another verse locking. So much right now. Mercy and yeah, something to the fact like I just saw so many verses. I just read so much verses, bro. It's just in my mind right now. And it's all coordinating. It's all co co culminating together, man. This thing is coming together, bro. It's 2024, man. We still I know I'm still alive, right? The Wadi Yabba for that. And I truly believe I've been preserved, man. I'm begging every day, please keep me alive for another day. Whatever whatever you have ready for me, Abba Zah, you preserve me. What you gonna have, man, when you um get, go back out there? <laughs> you can't turn your hand from the plow, man. And you gonna let that shit, gonna let all the truth ooze out of you, bro. You talking that shit out of your mouth, but the truth is oozing out your ass. Right out your motherfucking backside. You're done, man. And we already seen tons of examples. That's the scary part. When we see it happen again, we're like, what? And that can you know you're gonna be saying shit that's um that's contrary to the truth. Alright. You don't say things. Contrary mean Opposite in nature, direction or or meaning, right? That's what you're gonna be doing. It's gonna be the opposite. You're gonna be saying the opposite stuff, bro. You're not gonna be saying what you was taught. 
Had it for school. Um, keep that what that was taught Bible verse. According to Bible study tools, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 13 in context, 12 nothing will hold you back, you will not be overwhelmed. 13 always remember what you have been taught and don't let go of it. Oh, that was a good one. That was good. I like that one. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm come back to that. I want to read that one. You know, KJ King JV, Proverbs chapter four verse thirteen. Let's see that real quick. So like, I don't, I don't want to close my tabs because I want to go back to those verses and read it again. But I'm just rolling in the spirit. So Proverbs that was Proverbs chapter four. That was a good one. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. Um, the headline reads for this chapter. All right, hold on. Um, a father's instruction. All right, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 1. Hear ye children the instruction of your every father of a father, and attend to to know understanding. All right, kind of, and that's a, that's our job. For I gave you good doctrine for all oh men. Forsake, forsake, forsake ye not the law. Forsake me my, my law. All right. Mm, this was good doctrine. For I was my father's son, tender and only love, beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments. And live. You understand? It's, we are it's, it's right now, man. We 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 are in the merge of um becoming perfect and living forever, man. And you gonna you gonna run from the doctrine? You gonna change up what you want you was taught? Right. Good wisdom, get good understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. And our apostles. Was giving this truth, man. From y'all watching me on shot. And y'all watching me on shot is ready to get back here. And he's about to proclaim who he's really with. He's about to proclaim it. He's going to see who he's with, man. Right. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not. And she shall pres preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. And that's this truth, this wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. And you lost the, the track of understanding this truth. There's no way in hell. Ugh. There's no way in hell that you're going to compare to this perfection. There's no way in hell that you got something else to offer. Like, you think you're going to call what? <laughs> you think you're going to fill the whole congregation overnight? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, um, Yama Shemel Shah is ready to make his move. He's setting up the pieces. He's showing you who's, he's giving you examples, who's who and who's not. And I brought this out. I wanted. I wanted. I wanted. I wanted the um. I wanted the ones. You know. I don't want to end up on the other side of this madness, man. The worst case scenario. We in the worst case. You think you got something to go back to? I don't think so. So you know, hey. I brought this out. The Lord preserved me. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to you. I want some shot by Shum Kakodash. The Wali of us know, Shah, for the apostles and the elders of Great Mustang. Shalom to the Hakim. Shalom.